Hey guys, just got back from our trip from seeing my sister and brother-in-law and nieces, uh, the fishing trip. Um, if you hear this sound, this is uh, a new addition uh, that we wasn't even expecting. Uh, this is Luna. Uh, she uh, she was uh, left at, well not left at FedEx, but got loose from a container. And uh, one of the workers there, since uh, Tasha works for FedEx, they knew she, uh, she, she is dealing with chickens now. So they said, hey, uh, can you come get this chicken? So uh, her mom had got it, uh, and uh, now we have it. Uh, I think it's like, oops, trying to get loose. I used to get on the shoulder like a parrot. Let me put it, put, it, put her down, but she'll follow, she'll follow me around a little bit. And uh, she is spoiled already, see? She's already spoiled, but uh, but I'm just gonna let her follow me around the yard, and hopefully one of them chicken hawks don't don't come up and swoop up behind me. Uh, I am um, I'm gonna get the stuff out the out the car because we did get uh, we did get some remnants uh, flooring. We was gonna pay like eighty or ninety dollars for a twelve by thirteen sheet, and we're probably gonna buy it once a year for the flooring in the chicken coop, uh, so it's easier to uh, clean up and the the poop and stuff doesn't get into the uh, uh, the wood and, and you know and get all messed up but uh, Luna is taking my hopefully we don't have a house pet but maybe maybe that one's gonna be like hey I'm supposed to be inside so that chicken might might uh, have a leash on it because I did order a leash Tasha don't know about uh, but we did get all this remnants. This is a, I folded it in half, but that's a 12 by, 10 by 12 foot for only $5. We got $30 worth under all that cardboard. The cardboard we got for free. Uh, that's for the chicken coop. Oh, the brooder box up underneath to keep it clean. Uh, what I do is put that down. And then I put the, uh, I put the uh, newspaper over that. I'm just making sure Luna is following me. Uh, she jumped up a couple of those steps and uh, she's up here now, but uh, just like a mother hen uh, the chicks will follow see Come on Come on Luna Okay All right, well, let me uh, let me get all this out of here we're gonna uh, get the chickens in in two days on a, on Friday. Today is uh, I want to say the second the second of June, but I think the fourth of uh, June uh, we're gonna get the thirty other chickens. So we're gonna put Luna in with uh, with those uh, chickens since uh, they're the same age. The other ones are a month, about a month, and and a three days old. Uh, so uh, we are going to wait on those. Uh, I don't want to put them together because they'll peck at each other and they might kill them. So we're gonna um, we're gonna put these in the brooder box. Switch the other ones out today into the uh, the bigger coop. So it'll be the first time we got chickens in the coop. So I'll give you a little rundown about putting the floor and show you that what we did out there so far. So let me get this done and so I'll step on Luna and uh, that wouldn't be good. Come on, Luna. Oh, there she goes. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna leave you. Oh, got a bug. Do you see that bug? You gonna chase that ant, ain't ya? Okay. All right. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, gotta hurry up, Tosh is waiting. All right, this is not fast forwarded, this, this own stunts. Oh, I'm tired already. Carrying two big nuts around. 
Serious guys, two big nuts. I thought I was joking, huh? Okay, well, this is the chicken pavilion. Um, I just named it that so it seemed nice like they're in the park. Uh, this so the water doesn't get to the food even though we have this. Water can still kind of penetrate that. But I just put a little feed in there to do the demonstration of the chicken feed down there when they poke their head in there. But I have about four of those. I'm going to put them up like that and they can get in there and, and eat under that if it's the weather bad. Uh, we do, I'm not sure if I showed you all of this yet, but we did the railing here. Uh, we got the uh, corrugated sheets on here, just like the top, make it look all fancy to match. Uh, we still got the chicken door to do. Oh, there's Tasha. Hey, Tasha. Okay, uh, the, the door there is coming in, the solar power door she ordered. Uh, and then we got the ramp that's over there. That was the doggy door on the back of the house. We're going to repurpose and put here. Uh, I'm eventually going to put some kind of garage type thing, a little th carport for the zero turn, and maybe put some remnants, remnants uh, vinyl pieces that we get. Um, but this is the piece that we're going to put in first. It's 10 by 12, and we got this for $5. No joke, people, $5. They were selling it for 130 but nobody, nobody wanted it. So we lucked up and got it. Let's go in the chicken palace. Oh, all right, we got the light up there and I have a couple other outlets. I'm not gonna plug anything too, too uh, high powered in here to, to melt the wire. That's going all the way to the she shed there. But we did, for now, we put a little storage up here for all the cat buckets. We got the laying buckets that was all down here that we took them up for now because they're not gonna lay for another three months. So uh three and a half months so we're going to put those back down later and i'll show you those again later um the roost is right there i think you saw this on an older older clip but we're just going to let them run all the way around here and uh, then when the others get bigger we can we can put them back put them back together so uh uh that's that uh we're gonna put the flooring in here now so i'm gonna, un I'm gonna unscrew that right there uh unscrew the legs over there and then place this all the way up under there. So, all right, we'll show you when we get done. Let's get to work and stop talking. That's what she's saying, very politely in her inner side voice. You said we gonna take the- Go pull stop recording. Okay, we got the floor in. Um, I'll show you real quick. Uh, we have this big piece and the smaller piece in here for like about $10, whole floor got done. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, uh, we're gonna get the chickens in here in a little bit. Uh, I do have a little bit here that I didn't uh, get. I'm not sure what we're gonna do there, but uh, they're really gonna be pooping over there, mostly. They're gonna poop everywhere, but they're gonna sleep there and do their little deal. This thing here, uh, if you saw the, the vlog with Bob, um, while they're roosting, I don't know they could stare at this. So I'm gonna put this right here where the roost is so they can they can stare at this. But this is the the, the drawing I did when uh when uh Bob came out of the all the E equals MC squared and all everything just to 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 be funny about it. So this is gonna be their painting, you know. I know people have paintings in their house, but chickens, hey, I think chickens have fillings too. So I'm going to put this up and uh, get the chickens in here and I'll show you when they get their new home how happy they are with it. Hopefully they're happy and not griping about it. So, is there anything that you got any issues or anything? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay well i'm gonna i can't do i only brought two hands today guys so let me put this up and i'll uh we'll, we'll wrangle the uh, chickens up and I'll get them on in here i see a couple things we need to fix before we put them in here here hold this and you talk to them okay. oh. oh i just said i see a couple things that we need to fix before we put them in here like while he doing it like nails sticking out of the wall i know they may not well 
they big enough to jump up on the little roost thing yeah. and and get up here but it's a couple spots where it's nails sticking out and i don't want them to jump into the nails we'll be good okay all right well let me get this up and we'll take care of that and then get the chickens in here unless uh code enforcement has any other issues before i do that um <laughs> If I find anything else, I'll let you know. Okay. All righty. GoPro stop recording. There you go. Thank you. GoPro stop recording. Okay, just ordered a 20 piece light dark mix. Light meat. Dark meat. Okay, come on in and show. See him out. That's, that's about 20 of them. Oh, we're going to let them all loose. Here we go. Look at that. Welcome to your new home. Oh, got two of them. There we go. Okay. Well, they ain't too scared. They're already eating food. Okay. Well, we're going to figure out the place and we're going to get the other ones and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, these are all of them, um, all, 80, all 50 of them. We got 30 more coming, um, but we have the leaves in here uh, so they can scratch around and maybe find some insects in there, but that'll help clean up the fertilizer. Um, we got the water, we got the feed. Um, I'm gonna put a, a better light in here and we're gonna put this phone in here and this is gonna be on the ASMR channel. Uh, is there anything else we need to do in here you think of? No? Okay. I'm going to put this light in here um, and then we're going to uh, let them be for a while. So if you want to check out the ASMR channel I have, it'll be in the links uh, in below. It's not so ASMR plus a little laughter. The thumbnail is just a, a thumb. I thought a thumbnail would be a thumb. That'd be funny, but it's what it still is. So uh, check that channel out. If you want to see some other videos on there, you can. Uh, but uh, you'll see some other chicken videos when they're a week old and there's two weeks old. Um, I have different ones when they're in the brooder box, but this one here is going to be from the chicken coop first time living in the new house. So, Hey folks, this is the first, first time you saw me do anything on this island. You didn't see me dancing last night was just private. Uh, some stuff's private in her life and she had a couple dollars to, uh, to spend so had to jump up here and make sure this was secure and uh, good enough for all this heavy food we're about to eat um, today is not a whole cooking show this is on the vlog uh, just piece of things we're about to cook I think she's gonna cook some more of the salmon that uh, that we caught uh, with uh, Amber and TJ on Lake Michigan uh, but I'm gonna show you how to peel these a lot better. I know you might have a, you might have a, a different way to do it, but it's kind of like a ponytail. Uh, uh, people that don't have long hair that try to get a ponytail and they put a little bit rubber band, they have a little bit hanging off. I'm not sure if you know anything about that, but uh, here you go. You grab it like so, peel it back a little bit. You wanna get as much as the hair as possible and then do it like so. Look at that. All that pretty much came off with it. Uh, if you got another way to do it, the, you can uh, let me know in the comments. But this is pretty much good to go. Uh, if you do cook these on the grill, you want to soak these for about six to eight hours or, or however long you want to soak them for. And I wrap them back up and put them on the grill so they don't burn. Uh, if you're just cooking them on the stove, uh, you can just pick up some of the hairs off of it. Uh, some people do burn it a little bit and scorch it. To get those off uh, but what I do guys you're not gonna believe this uh, after I make this mess I'm gonna put this in the bowl over here uh, and I'm just gonna take the rest of these hopefully she's not cooking it on the grill because I just took everything off of it it's naked uh, I'm gonna make a salad with this guys a salad yes did not, uh, I need two, at least two of them. So I'm gonna grab it like so again. And there you go. So you can make a salad with the, the outside of the husks 
Um, and what you're gonna do is take a bowl like so. I'm gonna run over here, grab some water, fill that up. Make sure to use hot, hot water. Uh, but this right here, all this can be used, all this, okay? So I'm gonna probably just go ahead and soak these ingredients in like so. And I'll show you how to make a quick salad while I get the rest of these done. So I'll be, be right back. Well, let me show you real quick. Let me, let me show you what I'm doing. Because some people don't know what I'm talking about. There you go. The hot water. Soak it down in there. Soak this for at least two, two and a half hours. That should be sufficient. And I'll be right back to show you. Okay, we're back. Have your plate here. Have all this soaked, soaked ingredients. You just want to chop this up. Like so it's so tender now. It's so tender you can't tell because you're all the way home. There you go. There you go. And I'm going to add the ingredients right here. All you have to do, you're not going to believe this. The Guinness Book of World's Record does not believe my hot dog. Um, my hot dog trick so they think it's fake so they think this is fake too but what I'm going to show you you're not going to, you're not going to believe this my pickle juice my freaking pickle juice is amazing you will not believe what's about to happen here I'll even put this over here maybe you can see even better with this there we go here we go you ready? You ready? It only takes about five shakes. One, two, three. Let me get more juice from my pickle. Four. Oh man. Look at that. I told you. Look at that. Looks just like a freaking salad. You don't believe me? I'm going to show you the same camera. It's still in this camera view. I want to cheat Guinea's book for world's record. There you go. There you go, right there. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, guys, for more recipes, follow me on TikTok, on Facebook, anywhere. Okay, let me go. Tasha's back. <laughs> she's going to end up, she's going to do some real cooking. Okay, not no magician to cooking. You're going to see it. She's going to see it. She won't believe it. She should have started with her own eyes. I got to go. Go post that recording. I'm a sous chef, guys. So this food better be good. Or guess what? Yep, I'm suing. She just informed me that she was uh, doing a recipe for the first time. So that's her way of saying, if this is nasty, I'm covered. Tell you right now, if it's nasty. I'm selling because I'm a sous chef. Taste it. No, it's too sweet. There's your finger. <laughs> that, that's good because if it wasn't. I was suing. So, hopefully this knife don't cut me. Or I'm going to sue. So on and so forth. You get the freaking hint. I was going to flip the whole bowl around. I think I could do it. Go ahead. You going to do it while I do it midair? Come on. Look at that. Any garlic? Oh, you gotta have garlic. I'm suing. <laughs> I didn't think you saw that. I won't do it again. This film. Oh, 
Okay. Woo! All right. Golly! A buffet of seasoning? Yeah, I have no salt. Some well, this is seasoned, seasoned, guys. This is freaking seasoned. Ain't no bland sizzling sisters from the freaking Kentucky Lake. I did because she got back with me on the creep side on Facebook. That's her. I said, you know, you go business. You don't go on the flip side and try to change my mind of your unseasoned food. She just wanted to help my reputation, she said. Like, are you scaring me? Sizzling sisters in Benton, Kentucky, in Kentucky Lake? <laughs> might wanna might wanna call them and tell her how I feel. Okay, well. Guess what? Chopping broccoli. You gotta sing the song every time you do it. Chopping broccoli! Chopping broccoli! <laughs> okay, that's all I could do without her screaming at me. Gotta go. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, Luna and I are, um, outside uh just trying to stay out the way so uh we're uh don't want to get yelled at so we're out here uh enjoying enjoying the nice day don't yell at these fine people in the air my microphone's on me but uh she's doing some other stuff with some potatoes i can't tell you exactly how we did it because she might want to do a vi a video uh, a video on it uh, soon uh, so uh, I will uh, leave that to her but I was just in there helping out a little bit we're gonna have Brussels sprouts uh, corn on the cob uh, fake chicken no whoa 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 cover your ears Luna cover your ears I might have to call it something else I don't want to call it chicken but uh, yeah Luna likes to get on my neck like a parrot you go back and forth. It likes to sleep under under this area here because it thinks it's like a mother hen because of fat. So I, it was as soon as it gets under there, I'll do this uh, while I'm sleeping. Well, while, not while I'm sleeping. I'm lying to you guys. While I'm on the couch. So when I was on the couch last night, it'll crawl under there and then I did this and it just stayed there like a mother hen. Just fat, like a fat from the belly belly of a uh, mother hen. So uh, we're gonna go eat. And I'll show you everything that we're we're cooking, uh, other than the C H I C K I E N. I can't even spell right, guys. Cut, 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 cut. I'm trying to be really discreet, okay? C H I C K E N. She's looking at me at you. Okay. Well, uh, what else are we having? Something else. She's cooking something. I don't know. Not that, okay. Okay. Well, we might have a house chicken. I'm not really sure. We'll see. See how she gets along with the other chickens that come in the next day or two. Um, if they don't get along, then maybe she'll be a house chicken. We found some diapers online, some house diapers that, uh, that, that she could wear while she's in the house. Yeah, she likes to roost. Chickens like to roost up high so they know predators can't get to them as good. Hopefully, that hawk that lives in that tree right there is not gonna swoop down and just snatch her off my my hand. I don't want YouTube go like that, okay? But, speaking of that, let me get inside. I don't want, yeah, I don't want her to get snatched off like that. So let me put her down and she can follow me on in. Come on, come on, Luna.
Hey, welcome to um, not a food review, but uh, I'm going to say I've been tasting a little bit of Tasha's cooking here and there, and I do, I do not lie on Wednesdays. I think she cooks a little better than me. A little? Just a little. Oh, okay. A skosh. But uh, yeah, I've tasted uh, some of the, the seasoning she had put on the, the salmon, um, and it was it was really good it, it kind of amazed me a little bit a little bit i was experimenting today yes oh she did say she was experimenting so what you what'd you uh do um honey no uh, you're calling me no <laughs> but uh i made a glaze with butter honey um old bay you call me again no. Honey old bay. And a little bit of brown sugar. I think I put some fresh garlic in there. And I think that's it. Okay. I was thinking maybe a peach. Since we have those peaches in there. No. No? Okay. That's going to be in my channel. I'm going to do some peach crusted corn or something like that. Oh. You don't got to frown up. You ain't tasted it yet. I didn't frown up. But she did cover her bases when before we started. So if it was nasty, she was like... I'm trying something new today. Well, you still have it. You tasted the sauce by itself. You still don't know how it tastes with the fish. Oh, yeah. the fish that we have is um. Is it trout? Trout. Trout from when we went fishing. Yeah, we caught trout, um, and king salmon when we went fishing. So this is the trout. Yeah, I think Amber, you caught trout, and then uh, TJ caught uh, king, king salmon. salmon. And uh, they gave us almost all the fish because they would have probably wasted it, he said. They so, don't eat fish, really. Like that. Yeah, they go out to eat, I think. But I think she thinks it smells too smelly when you cook. I'm like, no, if it smells too smelly. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. <laughs> the fish, too. This, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I didn't, didn't catch fish, okay? I could have. I could have, but I didn't want to. It's called humility. Humble. Okay. Oh, and the potatoes that I did are called, I think the name for them is Hasselback potatoes. Um, but you just make slices all the way through and you can make up your own butter concoction, whatever seasonings or whatever that you want in your butter. And you stick it in between the slices. How you I it? used um I used butter garlic powder, um, Parmesan cheese, um, a seasoning blend that I have in the house. Like your, you can use your favorite, um, all purpose seasoning. I also put cheddar cheese in there and I put Italian seasoning in it also. So you melted the cheese with the butter? Pepper. Like you melted the cheese in the butter or just put the cheese in the butter? No, I left the butter out so it would be room no temp so that I could be able to mash it all together. Okay. But, yeah, the butter is not cooked. It was just room temp butter. You're supposed to do it room. They can hear me. No, I'm just uh, getting this from. They can do it. You can do it room temp butter, but you're supposed to wrap it up in plastic wrap and stick it in the refrigerator or freezer so it'll get firm a little bit so you can make the slices and it's easier to put in between the potato slices. Um, the corn is... Yellow. The corn is... Um, Sweet yellow. I think it's garlic parmesan. Garlic parmesan. Is that what the butter is? It's parmesan butter. I can't think of what or it is. Or butter parmesan. But it's the butter um, that they pre-make. Well, they make it in Kroger. So, More expensive. You can do it yourself, can't you? Yeah, you, you can do it yourself if you have uh, butter and garlic. Butter, garlic, and <laughs> Parmesan. Parmesan cheese and some other stuff. Okay. Well, I hope you like my um, corn husk salad. Magical. Well, they saw the, the what I did. Don't don't try this at home, people. I'm gonna be magical and eat. Okay. Well, you already talked about Brussels sprouts and everything. Brussels sprouts, all I did. Well, you saw. Um, I saw it. They didn't see it. You recorded it, didn't it? Oh, yeah, we did. 
Yeah. Yeah. When I flipped that bowl up, I had it. I got to say that. Yeah. You saw them skills. Not but, for yeah. hire. The Brussels sprouts were olive oil, your favorite all purpose seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. And yeah, I think love. that's it. Love. Mm hmm. Well. And everything was fixed on the grill. Speaking of love, uh, her mom had uh, sent me this ladybug find. It's a candle holder, but the ladybugs, I'm gonna, I'll do it on my phone real quick. But uh, if you didn't know, my daughter, I, I, we called her ladybug when she was younger. So, uh, here we go. Oh, that's real shiny, ain't it? Um, that's how all of it is. No, don't. I think she was she was at the Goodwill earlier. I find. Mm hmm And another ladybug. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Miss Thomas. I appreciate it. And we're gonna get to eating. The potato is good and soft. I was worried about them. But they oh, cook yeah? them pretty fast. I drink all this cup because that one I was I was saying before I was rudely interrupted that I was putting the cup back here. Not she gets offended because you know she talks a little lower, but I always try to turn this up. You can show them the inside of the potato. Thank but, you. Uh, as I was rudely interrupted again while talking about why I was really interrupted, I'm acting like Brandon I was today. getting this back so you could see the food. The whole food. On. That's what you was trying to get me to see. <laughs> Yeah, and don't look at her nails. Everybody's like, I like her nails. Oh my god! Don't be a hater. I'll okay, go. well, let's start with these freaking amazing pickles. Okay. Let me chop mine up. I put Italian dressing on mine. Shows out Hidden Valley Ranch. Yeah, that's my favorite kind of ranch. It I is. like other ranches, but that's my favorite. I like the on sale kind. On sale don't always mean good. I think these some are stuff that I, Some stuff I buy off brand, and it's it's wonderful. But some things you have to learn the hard way that you cannot buy it off brand. So I'm not just particular to name brand stuff. Because I actually like, instead of uh, like the Ocean Spray white cranberry juice, I like the great value kind. It tastes good to me. Don't eat the croutons. Why? They're already stale bread, but these are stale, stale bread. I don't care about the croutons being stale. Okay. All right. Well, other than that, guys, I really appreciate you watching the vlog. I wasn't even going to vlog today. I was going to wait for to get the other chickens in, but then I decided to. I know you ain't going to say bye to the vlog. Oh, I got to taste this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. How you going to say bye? I did it last time too, didn't I? Because I was... Nothing. I wasn't trying to make this three hours long like people think I, I am. They're going to be long anyway, so you might as well do what you're going to do. Oh, Jesus. That first one, I was like... That second one, though... I guess it didn't. It missed the butter pull. But this one, the second one, was delicious, like melting your mouth. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try the fish. Oh. Let's try this fish. Let me get it. Let me go ahead. Since, I haven't tried the fish either. Since you did all this, let me go ahead and get a sexy sack shot. Diving in. better than the other fish you had the other day really? a couple of days ago i like this a lot better well not a lot whoa i like it better the other fish is good but it's a piece of the salmon left over i can throw it oh i gotta get the chicken off the grill okay well hold on don't uh -huh. go
That is good. I gotta try the potato too. Don't you know what I did too? I added wood chips to the grill to that, get more smoke. That's flavor. what I'm getting from all this. That's tasting, tasting butter. Yeah, I added those wood chips. I've never added wood chips to a grill. Except have, like a I campfire, just do, wood chips to cook it. Because I normally, like when people cutting down pecan trees and peach trees and stuff, I'll get the limbs and break them up and soak them and put them in there, but I just hadn't lately. Yeah, and these were only like two dollars for a big bag. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's what I'm getting. This is my first time having river trout. I'm, lake, I was, lake trout. Ain't I was getting the wood, the kind of smoky, like flavor. But, but now you mention it, I like it a lot better like that. Yeah. On our twenty dollar Walmart grill. Right? It's like a little like the little square. That's a little family dollar. A family did I get it from Family Dollar? Either Fred's or Family Dollar. The little hood classic square grill. Yeah, you don't need no fancy eight hundred dollar grill. Tell you what, it's broccoli. Like cotton candy. Oh. I thought you was gonna say something crazy. No. So that for later. I'm gonna have to add that sauce to a. I put like you should have wrote it down, kind of thing, right? I know what I did. You know what you did? Mm-hmm. Right now. This a bone in my mouth. Be careful eating this, please. There's no bone in this. The camera still going? Yeah, I was going to say, you still watching me? Okay, well. I would appreciate you guys now. Can I, can I appreciate them? <laughs> I'm going to pre appreciate you guys now since she uh, she's letting allow me to. But uh, I do thank you. Uh, do thank you for putting up with me and I want to thank you guys for putting up with me and, and the comments and um, please uh, please comment and tell me bless me tell me bless me tell me bless me no tell me what kind like if you use wood chips on your uh, barbecue and what kind uh, what do you like the best on the grill or if you ever tried smoked salmon yeah, I could put that other salmon on the grill to get that smoke flavor. Yep, that salmon would be good too. Might as well. But uh, that said, guys, I'm just going to shut this down. And the next vlog, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing. So stay tuned. Bye. Yeah, pretty good. I know. I'm doing like the I'm people good. do at the talk shows. And they say, hey, bye. Then they're clapping. They don't say Why are you nothing. looking upside my head? There's something on me and you ain't telling no, me? No, you're right in the mic. You're yelling at them. They gonna hear me holler if it's something on me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go. GoPro, stop recording. Oh, it's not even freaking GoPro. God dang. Look at you. I got you're a name so phone. Smart. I almost cursed the first time. You're so smart. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Get out my house. Get the grill. I mean, I'm going to get the wings off the grill. Okay. Get stuttering. Okay. We got 30 chicks in. There we go. Look at these little babies. Okay, and uh, I am going to go ahead and put maybe just one in at a time down there, not to bombard Luna. There you go. Luna don't know what to think. Like, I don't know what you are. I'm used to people.
Okay. Well, I'm going to put the other ones in here shortly. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the new chickens. So we'll uh, do on the next vlog. I just put this piece in here so because it would be a while uh, for maybe a few more days for my next uh, uh, vlog. So I just tossed it on in there. So. About to put the chicks out in the brooder box now. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, getting the new chicks in because it's going to be another three or four days before I do another vlog. Um, since I have a lot of them stacked up from the trip uh, to see Amber and TJ. So uh, let me uh, get these chicks quieted down and uh, now I will see you in the next vlog. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss and have a great day unless you meet other plans.